Welcome to this video where we're going to be looking at the use of the profile projector and how it is used for an inspection, in particular inspecting components with odd shapes. So let's dive in. Before we get started, just want to make sure that you're in the right place. So if you're in the need of checking a complex profile or a component with uh, an odd shape, uh, or you need to compare a golden sample with uh, a production part, then the profile projector could be the tool you're looking for. So if that's the case, keep on watching. You can see here the profile of a sawtooth uh, style product that uh, is being projected onto this screen here. Uh, we're going to go into what this is uh, later on. So let's start with the uh, the overview. So a profile projector is a sort of measurement device used to evaluate and analyze the contours and shape of an object. Now the profile projector is frequently used to inspect and evaluate the shape of gears, bearings and other precision machine parts. It's also known as a shadow graph. It is a measurement tool that is used to inspect the shape and size of two-dimensional surfaces and objects. You can see here we've got a, a fairly complex shape that, you know, where, where do you start to inspect that? Well, we're here we've got the shadow being projected onto the screen. On the right hand side we've got a coordinate system where we can place the cursor, take some coordinates, replace the cursor on a different component edge or position on on the part itself take more coordinates and from there we can get a very accurate dimensional report so where are profile projectors used so they're commonly used in inspection labs to verify the dimensions and tolerance of two-dimensional objects and services like i said earlier they are particularly useful for inspecting objects that have complex shapes or fine features as they allow for precise measurement of these features. Let's have a look at some of the applications where the profile projector can be used. Obviously, in quality control. So the profile projector is often used in quality control to inspect and measure the precision and accuracy of machine parts, such as gears, bearings, and other precision machine components. Metrology, well, this is where it's been used to measure the shape and contours of objects such as tools and dies. Automotive, well, here we're gonna be looking at fairly complex shapes and contours within the automotive like component set itself. You know, one of those can be the engine components or a transmission gear and other machine components. Aerospace. Here we're looking at components such as turbine blades, aircraft parts and other precision machine components that will have odd and complex profiles and shapes. The profile projector is used here in the medical device manufacturing industry to inspect and measure the shape of contours of medical devices such as implants, surgical instruments and other precision machine parts. Printed circuit boards. Yep, printed circuit boards or PCBs. They can be used or the profile projector can be used here to have a look at defects. Also, the precision of the drill pattern or on the PCBs themselves. Profile projectors are also very useful for verifying the straightness, flatness and parallelism of surfaces and for detecting defects such as cracks, pits and scratches. They are available in different sizes and accuracy levels and are often used in conjunction with other measurement tools such as micrometers and calipers to verify the accuracy of those tools. Here we can see a complex double-sided gear. We've got the profile of the gear set on the outside as well as the inside of this gear ring. So why are profile projectors important? 
So a profile projector, like we've said, is a measurement instrument that can inspect and analyze the shape and contours of an object by projecting and enlarging that image onto a screen. We've seen that in various different photographs in previous slides. And the importance of profile projector lies in its ability to detect defects and deviations from the specification of the parts, which can help to improve the quality of the products and reduce the risk of product failures. It is an important piece of test equipment for quality assurance and for maintaining the integrity of the manufacturing process. If you're interested in getting any of your components inspected or tested in a reliable test lab, we do have our own facility set up under the Sophie's company. For more information on that, just contact us and we can discuss your requirements with you. Thanks for listening. My name is Paul Adams and I shall see you in the next video. Thank you.